What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing a really fun idea. This is the Rescue Radish Molokale deck. Molokale is a very fun card. It will turn every plant into a random plant that costs one more. You're ideally playing your Molokale either on your Pine Clones. Uh, this will turn all of your little cards into three threes, but more notably four drops. And then the Molokale will turn them all into five cost cards. The other thing you can do is after you've played even more expensive cards, they get a ton of value when played. A lot of the Gloomshroom's value is from evolving it on a Mushroom. You have a bunch of Mushroom superpowers, also two Mushrooms in the early game to turn into Pine Clones. But anyway, you play this on a Mushroom, it does a lot of damage. You can clear up to three minions out of the board. Jumping Beam will bounce something off the field. Brainana will deny your opponent that big teleport or big trick play they were planning on doing. All three very good cards that get most of their value when played. And then you can actually Molokale those into a card with a lot of stats. Usually when you upgrade your Brain Nano or your Jumping Bean, you're going to be getting, you know, a card that costs one more and will have very good stats and will be getting even more value from the field. Uh, the idea then is on turn 7 uh, to play Rescue Radish, pop Molokale back into your hand, uh, and then replay the Molokale in order to evolve them again. And if you keep on leaping them, eventually they'll turn into the very powerful 8-cost cards like Dragon, Colonel Corner, or Astro Vera. 9-cost would be um, Great Zucchini, and if we Molokale hard enough, I'll be able to get all the way to the 10 cost Cornucopia. The Rescue Radish actually synergizes very well, not only with the Molokale, uh, but with everything else in the deck, it actually has a lot of synergy. Even just with Shroom for 2, it'll give you an extra Shroom for 2 in your hand to set up a turn 5 Shroom for 2 Pine Clone. Uh, you can, again, it'll remain that little value on the field, or maybe the little Puff Shroom died, and then you're able to... Um, you're able to play again the whole shroom for two and get another pup shroom. You can even pop the little pup shroom from the shroom for two back in your hand or this one and then just replay it in a different lane where it will be more useful. The Primal Pea Shooter, again, good early game control, a good little card to put on the board, especially against Teleportation Zombie, Con Man, and Space Time, all of which have powerful cards with one attack. This will bounce them off the field, messing up your opponent's tempo, and it'll either be a little guy around for a Pine Clone, or you can play Rescue Radish, pop it back into your hand, and then replay it in another lane in order to get another free, cheap bounce. Um, again, the Gloom Shroom, Jumping Beam, Brain Nano, all cards that you can jump back into your hand and then replay them for extra value. Particularly, if you ever need an extra Brain Nano on turn 9, Rescue Radish, Brain Nano is an absolute killer. We actually have done that a lot of times, and it's worked very well. Even popping a Pine Clone back into your hand and being able to get, you know, if you have an extra Shroom for 2, to be able to, you know, turn that into a 5 costs, you know, a bunch of 3 threes on the board. Uh, so Velociradish Hunter can also be Molokale, but it'll turn into two four drops. Popping one of these back in your hand can also replay it. This is the ultimate, uh, Rescue Radish deck. Every once in a while, you'll just be playing, passing the first couple of turns and playing Rescue Radish on turn three as a three cost three four and not bounce anything back in your hand, which is also okay, and then just build on top of that. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into the games here. This should be a very fun stream, and I think this will be... I think this will be really fun and really effective too, but only one way to find out. We will be playing eight games tonight. Uh, so if you think we are going to win five out of eight with this deck, vote yes. Four out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Should I go for six out of eight because there's pine clones? Six out of eight, guys. We're upping the ante. Six out of eight is a yes. Five out of eight is a no. That's the bets. I'm feeling confident. I think this is a... A pretty solid deck. You got your big removal, your small removal, your tempo, you got your brainanas, your field clear. This deck's got a little bit of everything. Should I keep shooting for two here? With no pine clone. I don't think so. Right, interesting hand. We'll see how it goes. Alright, six out of eight's a yes, five out of eight's a no. Well, let's go. You're gonna pass. We'll set maybe something up on turn two. See what this guy does. Hopefully he doesn't have his Infinity Clones on turn one. That will put us a little behind. It's okay. I just realized even the Poison Shroom that you get from the Mushboom power, you know, it'll kill this 2-1. It'll go face for 3 damage that turn. Usually gets fronted. I'll probably just play this on turn 2 and then scoop it back up on turn 3. It would be really cool if he played his space time or something that was answerable here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. The question is, should I play the Shroom for 2 this turn, too? If I happen to draw into Pine Clone, it would be really good. Uh, turn, I could probably end up playing this on turn 4. Probably better not to rush this. In case he's running, like, Barrel of Dead Beards or something like that. Keep on, Jesus. It's okay. 2 for 1. Well, 1.5 for 1. 
he still has a 2-1 on the board. Uh, looks like it's just Rescue Radish. Again, this is a cool idea, but you can just play Rescue Radish like this. You don't have to. It's a 3 cost 3-4. Three, That's pretty damn good stats. Question is, where do we put this? I guess the Gloom Shroom would like to go here, so we'll put it here. What type of class is Smarty to me? I don't know. It has Brinana, which I consider one of the better finishers in this game. Um... Has decent removal cards. I'd say it's kind of like a support class. Usually doesn't have the, you know, the tempo itself. It's usually supporting something else, like Guardian in this case, Kablu. So This is cool. We have um, Pine Clone. His opponent are not really doing much of anything here. Here's a three four. He might be combining this with something. I don't know. I think this is fine. He's not running this together with Fireworks Zombies, so... In case, we might be able to get another one drop next turn. Let's not even blow her. Uh, Smarty also has one of the best finishers in the game, which is actually Dragon, you know? So... There's the Bungie. That's okay. Again. Two for one. Easy money. It's possible Blow will be in play here. We have a lot of bounce in our hands. Where's our molecules? Gotta get it. If he plays an expensive card, I'll just Blow. Just play Backup Dancer. Wait. Is he running this? This isn't the one we just killed because it died. He's running Backup Dancer. He probably has like a finisher to the tune of... Uh, Of like uh, flamenco or something. It's weird. I'm not gonna blow. It's either a one one or a two one. So right there. That's that's damage. Ooh. This flamenco, you know, the, the amount of damage we're taking is not super comfy, but we obviously have the tempo advantage here. Uh, do we rain this for a little extra damage? I'm gonna rain next turn. I will either play it with the I get a little more value rather than just one damage. Right? It also will correct the trades. Like, he'll think uh, two damage will kill this lane, and if we wait, it won't. See what we got here. Yeah, so that'll be a good jumping bean. Uh, we'll have eight. Proc the block kill, something like that. We need a leap. Oh, this lane die. I mostly actually watch on YouTube, so Twitch people think I'm gone lol. But I've been here the whole time. Thanks, Dasher Man. 52 months. Really appreciate it. Uh, we have a decent shot at winning right now. We can either roll a 1 and a 2 and just hit him for 8 and 4. Either that will proc the block, and his Infinity Clones are gone, so his Stinky used Strength already and his Encrypt are not gonna. Does he have Encrypt? Yeah. Proc the block, and that's it. We didn't have an answer. Encrypt does not do anything, or Smelly was the last superpower, so... Yo, Dad! Yo, Dad. Notice that only the jumping bean attacked, because it was in front and had enough damage. Front team up always attacks before back. Alright, guys. Really great game. Uh, yeah, just Pine Clone... <laughs> pine Clone taking over the game. Value. Jumping bean. Decent card. Underrated card, Jumping Bean. I love how we have the excuse. Usually I prefer Spring Bean over Jumping Bean. It's a little more versatile. You know, like how much is adding the 3-2 on the board? But because we're running Molokal, that 3-2 body on the board is a big deal because it leaps into a 6 drop. So really amazing excuse to run Jumping Bean over Spring Bean. This is a decent hand. What about this? This Puff Shroom. I mean, it's kind of like a free 1 drop. We'll find better in here. That's probably better still. So. Uh, we'll just go three, and if we don't find a pine claw, I'll just small kill on turn four. Having a turn four play where you have two four drops teamed up is pretty damn good. Uh, let's hope he's not running fossil hut. That would be super annoying. Stinky is such a good name for a stench. Yeah. Stinky, stinky. And he has fossil hut. What do you know? That's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah. 
Did he conjure this, or is he running? Just tells me a little bit about his deck, yeah. Yeah, that's... we're taking a lot of heat here. I'm going to... I think just play this dry. So, and hopefully we'll block the 4 damage, and... I don't know. Rolling soon. No, 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 no. Nope. Ow. We're down to 10 already. This game not going our way so far. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Bruh. Such a bro moment. Uh, if we do this, it actually makes these do more damage after we proc the block. Question is, should I rain this turn or next turn? I guess Molokal rain next turn is probably better. It adds two damage onto this thing. I suppose right now this will take well rain actually kills this. So maybe in the in the interest of keeping this four drop on the board, I'll rain right now. This will end up doing no, it does six, sorry, it doesn't even do seven. So we'll do four, and then this will do the remaining three. Probably molecule rain, right? Yeah, I know. Where's Primal P when you need it? That would have really helped. J jumping being two, man. Running three, but our removal cards are nowhere to be seen right now. So we almost always just keep this, right? There's Blow. Uh, I'll probably just... I'll probably just Molecule Blow next turn now and get a 6-6 six, six off the board. See what else he plays here. Uh, too bad. Well, we have the little Puff Shroom to combine with the Molecule here. Shut up and take my money. What's the most painful thing you've been told? Man, deep questions. Most painful thing? Uh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm going to answer that. So, it always hits this. Um. So this will probably trade. Let's take everything he has off the board. That's probably our best way of winning. Is there any world that we reign? Let's turn instead of blow. Sergeant Strong Perry. This doesn't even die. It's so sad. Is it smarter to just reign to kill this? We can't really afford to take this damage, though. Okay, so. Very blessed. Synergy. Dear God. <sighs> so if he passes here, the Brainana will actually just get us out of the situation we're in. Hopefully that happens. Brain Anna in 4 is just really strong here, even if this is all he does. He'll end up with a 3-2 on the board, 2 damage this turn, it's okay. Bro, just stop! Oh, he did the opposite of passing. This guy just wrecked us. This actually dies. This, uh, it's really weird. I wonder if Shroom for 2 rain is better. These Brain Nanas are going to be hard to spend. We can't block two lanes, obviously. I'll have the Shroom for two next turn. I think I'm just going to Brain Nana here. Jesus. Such a sad Brain Nana. Jumping Bean would be so good here. <laughs> Imagine we had Jumping Bean Shroom for two. We actually have everything we need in this deck to wreck this guy, and we're just not, just not getting it, man. Uh, Pine Clone, there's a play here. In fact, we have a Berry Blast, too. <laughs> My gosh. This guy is freaking relentless. I don't think we have the ability to deal with all three of these, though. Honestly, it's the right deck and just the wrong draws. Yeah, we can only block two lanes here. There's no way to get up to... That much damage. We can do Brain Anna. This would be 7, 8, 9. Wait. Is there, we have Berry Blast, so 3. So can we get to 11 somehow? 
You get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we had two more brains, we could stretch to fourteen. Yeah, we're done. We are done. We lose. Imagine just one primal pea shooter here, man. Alright, we're one and one. That wasn't even a bad matchup. That was an amazing matchup for us. <laughs> Grab your curve. Three brain nano breaks us really hard thing. Too bad. Hey Racklick, welcome back. Uh. Let's get rid of this early game. That's a pretty cool hint. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Probably what happened to your podcast? Yeah, I haven't done that in a long time. How do I not get angry there? I don't know. I'm having fun. You don't gotta win every game to be having fun. Um, so, Bara Eureka, this is either a newspaper, conga, or teleportation zombie. I can always grab the puff shroom. Should I spam like crazy here? Is that insane? And actually go for this next turn? It's probably crazy. If it's teleportation zombie and he's running barrel, it's pretty insane to to try to set these up on turn two. I think I just pass her. Drone engineer. Uh, I guess I forgot about that one, but it doesn't really change anything. You ever eat a croffle? I have no idea what that is. The uh, insanity continues here. That's probably just a teleportation zombie. I think I'm gonna. Well, I'm, I think getting this drone engineer down. This is a pretty valuable card if we get a pl second pine clone or we tap like a gloom shroom, but getting us down to three is probably good so we can pine clone here and kind of kill his engine next turn. So that's a pretty good play. Another drum. Swash from Eureka, Sumo from Eureka, there's a lot of things that could happen there. Bungies. The posture. We got ourselves a fine Pine Clone indeed. I, I guess with Rescue Radish, you could probably so always set up three Pine Clones using more spores, so maybe that wasn't worth it. I don't know. There's a Eureka card. So this will do three and be a five. Four, this will do four and be a five. Sorry, this will be do three and do a, be a five three. This will do four and be a five three. So we always kill this. Yo, Dad. Yo. Hey, actually. Is Rescue Radish Shroom for two the play? Oh, it is. Oh, I didn't see that. In fact, Rescue Radish lives? Wait, if we rescue Radish, and then play Shroom for two... Well, if we play it here, the rescue Radish dies, we'll play Shroom for two Pine Clone next turn. Uh, I think this is the way. We actually want the rescue Radish to die. That's a hell of a rescue Radish. That's a greedy rescue. But we have Shroom for two Pine Clone. I want this to die, so we can Shroom for two. We'll get an extra Pine Clone. That's pretty solid, actually. <laughs> Did he get a second Drone Engineer from Eureka? Wow, so he's running Drone Engineer anyway, and he got a second one. I didn't realize he conjured this. That's cool. I thought he was just running, though. So we'll put the Shroom for 2 here, Fine Club. Ooh, look at the Molecule! We got some stuff going on here. 
Look at this play. But anyway, three damage equals three, so let's just team up against this garbage car. Uh, should come out of this turn with the three or four pine clones. Looks like four. Uh, yeah. So we should have a really solid molecule coming up. Okay, it's three. But teleportation zombie heat. We clear his board, and we have three, four drops on the board. Three, three, threes. How great is pine clone, man? In fact, if he plays a big card, I'll go for the value Brain Ann. Now we have Brain Ann, a jumping beam, the, the craziness. Okay, there's nothing the jumping beam, there's nothing to Brain Ann on. Let's take the value. I was at the funeral of a friend of mine. His wife asked me if I could say a quick word. I stood at the front, cleared my throat, choked back the tears, and said, Plethora. Thank you, his wife said as I sat back down. That means a lot. <laughs> that means a lot. Get it? It means a lot. <laughs> no nuts for you. Oh, and my my burb dies. The only good card here is the burb. Honestly, the, 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 I shouldn't complain because this is a decent... It adds some stats to our already okay hand. But yeah, it's really sad to get <laughs> potted powerhouse on the, on the dude. I think this Brain Nano is going to put him away. We also have Berry Blast jumping me, bro. No, 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 no. Um, is Brainan a clean win? It certainly is not. So we don't want to give him this card back. So I will bounce the chemist and Berry Blast this one. Really good turn. We could have gone Brain Nana and then gone for Berry Blast next turn. I don't know. Who knows what could happen? So we're doing eight. Brain Nana basically puts him away anyway, since we'll have open lanes and uh, a Brain Nana. <laughs> so we really need to win here. Brain Nana is crushing here. He's not going to be able to answer this. It's over. Teleportation zombie, drone engineer, I don't care, man. Chemist, dead. Great game. I feel like the deck did kind of everything there. We did end up rescue radishing a molecule. We'll have one of those at some point. But we rescue radish a shoot for two and set up some humongous value. Man. <laughs> ah. Creative Rescue Radish plays. Pine Clones, Molecules, Brain Anna as a finisher. Doesn't get better than that. This deck's doing really well. Uh, really go, just go for Greedy Pine Clone. Maybe we'll get a removal card in our starting hand. Hell yeah. Either this or the, or the ultimate, just to not die to turn, you know. Just a swarm to teacher teacher rush. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's okay. This is okay. You could have weed spray, but it's a one worst worst thing that happens here is a one for one trade. And yeah, it's gonna be really awkward trying to set this up on turn five. Yeah. Teleport into a gravestone, teacher. Oh. Shut up and take my money. Could you not? Oh, hey, Father, everything lives. Remember how I donated my entire life savings to get you to play Inscription? <laughs> well, now I'm gonna donate until you play Subnautica. <laughs> you know I played Subnautica, right? There's a couple of videos on my channel of me playing Subnautica. <laughs> was that Pogme that was pressuring me? Oh yeah, you were the one who was pressuring me to play that. So, it's gonna be Pine Clones. I, 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 the question is, should we try to double up against this teacher? It probably is. We don't need the extra three damage as much as we need this teacher to die here. So let's... Right? Right? Right, guys? Right, guys? Honestly, if the teacher doesn't die, we just jumping bean it and blow next turn. Alright, let's go face screw it. Screw it! 
if he grows this teacher that much, we'll, uh, we'll jump in there. Okay, he could get, like, a lightning bolt superpower here. Just don't get something stupid, please. Where is that going? Is that going, like, three to prevent the damage? No. It's going lane four to keep the teacher alive, okay? Honestly, that was fine. <laughs> That's just too much. It's too valuable of a superpower to just keep a one drop alive. I don't know about that play. Rescue Radish. Well, we jumping bean it, right? The, the, the blow can always be used later. We could have really just played Pine Clone and blow. Since it's guaranteed to hit that target. I don't know. I feel like the Brainana is going to be devastating here. It's just an inkling. Can we not block? Yes! Yes! It's down to 8. Yeah, this brain ad is gonna hurt. <laughs> it is gonna sting. See, the pine clone keeping in our hand means we can set up tempo in case he's somehow able to answer this field, which he is not showing any signs of being able to answer three threes right now. Yeah, nice teacher, bro. You can still play one cost tricks. No, I don't play trickster. Freaking lame. <sighs> Well, it's got to be Brainana still, right? Um, we could also we could rescue Radish next turn and stuff. I wonder if we do this just to keep the three three alive. In fact, four plus four. It's very unlikely the opponent's gonna have an answer to this. I guess since this turns into a Pine Clone later, it's probably better to hold on to. All right, let's go. We usually just win here anyway. What one cost trick? Okay, so you keep your teacher alive. What else you got? Superpower? No, that was the superpower. Huh? Don't California roll? Don't California roll? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. You're not California rolling this. Yes, easy. Get right. <laughs> uh, Rust Bolt, yeah. I mean, unless he's running knockout, usually Pine Clones is just the end of every Rust Bolt deck. Or if he's running, I don't know, Weed Spray plus Black Hole. Even then. It's oddly specific. Should play Minecraft. Guys, I, I love all the new ideas. I'm actually not open to any new ideas right now. I can't think about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one ooh, Well, second, well, mm. <laughs> How many? Is it greed too greedy to keep two rescue radishes here? Uh, because of all the other cards that we'd rather have rather than second rescue radish. Yeah, that's probably still better. All right, this looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get the value uh, con man into a uh, primal teacher. <laughs> this man about to get you bounced. Come on, every infinity plays con man on turn one. What about you? God damn it. All right, we still have to control them. Like a day. Where's the Subnautica vid on YouTube? Literally type the words into YouTube search bar, fry them up Subnautica. There are two of them. There's a highlight video on the main channel and a couple of playthrough videos on the second channel. There's at least one. It might be two. Two or three. It's just so easy. When will you do viewer challenges? Yeah, I don't know. When I feel like it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the real answer. Uh, probably cause it's Swashbuckler. The cool news is we have a 3 4 to answer this next turn. Maybe we'll do that. Probably better than spamming uh, Raptors into that. I see a huge Gloom Shroom incoming. So let's do this. Really good. Again, in terms of stats, this is as good of a 3-drop as anything else in the freaking game. Oh, come on. Man. You know what? That's just making the Gloom Shroom happier. That's all that's doing. He'll take it a little initial damage in here, but the Gloom Shroom is becoming very jolly indeed. Look how good this Gloom Shroom is going to be. So we'll set up Shroom for 2 here and probably Raptors. Da 
so we'll just get included in the group shot. We'll have a mall kill. Should be okay here. Might have like a laser. That would be so annoying. Laser removal. Laser hair removal. In this deck, we bring Brain Anabi as a 3 of, and then maybe we'll run another 5 drop, maybe. Or another Primal PJ. It is definitely possible. Wow, no blocks for us this game, huh? Uh, the Gloomstream still kills things. That's awesome. Look how good good Gloomstream is into Molokal. Wow, we have Versatile now with this Puff Shroom. Gloomstream just became better. Bruh! Uncool! This does jumpy jumpy stuff now. It's so annoying. In fact, well, yeah, there's no way to really solve that. In fact, this doesn't even go anywhere this turn. Because he, he, we just block. But it will next turn, unless I kill it right now. What is the play here? I'm really confused of what to do here. So for lack of clarity, I'm just gonna do the obvious play. Oh, actually, does this move? Oh, it does. Oh no, did I goof? No, I didn't. <laughs> I get wrecked. <laughs> It was all part of the plan, guys. No, it would have proc the block and then attacked and then moved and then yeah, killed us. That was a terrible play. Wait, was there a different play there? I don't know. It all worked out. It all worked out for the best. Uh, the only problem is right now is that I can't actually play Malika. That's Oh, never mind. We win. All right. Well, time to get my head screwed on straight today. Guys, that was all part of the plan! <laughs> that was all part of the plan! Huge brain, okay? Listen, I had, had that all worked out. <laughs> Even if you would get Infinity Clones, we still usually win there, right? <laughs> How much health did he have left? Why did I not even look at how much health he had left? That's how great of a game I'm playing today. He had... He had 12 health! But we did 6 damage in lane 2. And because we blocked, our Raptor in lane 3 did 3 damage, and the Rescue Radish did 3 damage. I'll take it, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh man, oh man, where's Pine Clone? Do we ditch this in hopes of finding Pine Clone? What is he gonna run that's scary enough flag zombie? There's enough things to Berry Blast that we're not gonna ditch Berry Blast. A versatile two drop on curve. No, I didn't deserve to win there at all. Not at all. I totally defaulted to the brain dead play and it all worked out. <laughs> Who said there's no luck? Oh my gosh, imagine not keeping Berry Blast. Uh, the blow and the, the two bounce cards against the guards that are coming in later are gonna be super insane value craziness so really happy i kept that berry blast so we can hold on to these Ooh, we got some tempo going on oh, that's so annoying see the problem is if i play rescue radish then he can blow maybe i just set up my own tempo and just not care would i just go three four into a garg this is crazy. What do I do here? He could have like healthy tree too. Thank you, Antonio. Rating with 75. Como estas? How you doing? We got the Spanish speaking YouTuber rating us. I'm gonna go with my gut and just develop my own tempo here. And we'll we'll have to just come from behind against these guards. <sighs> Here we go. Raid! El Raido! How do you say raid in Spanish? Guys, teach us your ways. 
Oh, Jesus. Uh, the good news is... The good news is we get to just kill the Gargologist right now. And these two cards, I mean, hopefully they'll do three damage each. Average? No? <laughs> Guess not. But, uh, yeah, it kills it over the course of a couple of turns. Should be fine here. Pretty happy with the way this turned out. You also get free face damage. Kinda. Yeah, we weren't able to rescue Radish Molokel. We had to kill the Gargologist. It's too sad. <laughs> One hour delay? It's a minute, but yeah. Basically an hour. Uh, two gravestones! What are these gonna be? They could end up being sumos and stuff. But they're two small gravestones, so probably Pine Clone, right? Looks good. Looks very good. That, this way a sumo means that this guy still does everything dies on his board. It's sumo, right? So it's like a hybrid of a Gargramp slash control deck. That's why he's running sumo. It's probably just two sumos. Eh, that's fine. So he'll he'll hit lane three just to keep his dude alive, but we win the other trades and we're, we're in really in really good shape here. We got the stuff. Am I rescue radish one of these? Let's see what happens here. Assalto? Assalto. <laughs> it sounds like an assault. It sounds so violent. Uh, here's a really solid play. Should I do this in front or behind? I think I'll do it behind. In front means saying if he California rolls, we'll get five extra damage here, but I don't care. Imagine using half of a one drop to do three damage. It's like a, a half cost berry blast. Look at the damage we're doing on this Garg deck, man. That's a problem playing Gargs, man. You get wrecked in every other lane. Uh, this will be a problem for the rest of the game, but it's okay. Thank you, True Devin. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Nice to have y'all over here at the stream. Uh, what do we do here? Rescue Pine Cloud? <laughs> That's crazy. What is the play here? I'm kind of at a loss. How about rescue the Puff Shroom and just play the Puff Shroom? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We're going for lethal, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Like this? Like this? Like this? Like this? Trapper territory. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. So he's got three to answer a bunch of damage. Well... Whoa, why did he not try to answer lane two? Brav, you gotta actually try to protect your face there. Uh, <laughs> nice try. Yeah, we usually just win. Got him easy. <laughs> it was all because of Antonio, guys. That's why we won. Yes! Ah, uh, this deck is kicking in. <laughs> Ah, uh, kicking ass. Go. Oh man, five and one. I was gonna go five out of eight today. I'm glad I went six out of eight. This game will, this deck will probably go seven. The one game we lost, I don't even remember. It's the deck that we should have beat, but we didn't get any of our our removal cards. That guy, man. Or even just a slightly lower curve. We got bricked with Brina, and that's so sad. A sad day for all the Jews. Uh, let's look for something stronger. Ooh, okay, I have to resist the urge of keeping too. This is so much of a better hand now. Especially against Boogaloo, man. We're gonna take something off the board for free here, probably. Let's see what he does. Assalto with translation would be like a, actually physically assaulting someone in a different context, but... I guess raid also. Like, raid means you're trying to take over another country or something. So. Same idea. Gracias. Muchos gracias. For the asalto. How would you say for the? Probably something simple. Alright, that one's dead. <laughs> he didn't like that. He didn't like... He really wanted to go on life for the party backup dancers. He's like, screw this. Yeah, I think we went. 
I think the answer is yes. The answer is C. See how many Spanish words I know? I know a few more than that. I gotta learn Spanish. Uh, okay, again, we're gonna get rid of... <laughs> Should I keep one ball, Kale, here? Or actually look for some early game? Yeah. Yes! Love it! I'll, I'll spam this into a con man on turn one. There's just no answer to that ever, so... Not much we can... Not much of a better play. Better value you can do. Let's get a stay alive. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes already. So I will award your fries. Let's see if we can get that 7 and 1. Hit Faith in the Pine Clone deck. Easy. <laughs> yeah, bro. He booked. It's like, nope. No. Uh, play around trap return turn? Might as well play on heights. Doesn't really matter. It's almost no difference between ground and heights against Brainstorm in this situation. Spamming backup dancers and a Hail Mary. That's just Hail Mary back at day. Why is this? Why? Why? What is he gonna do with these? This guy's got. He's got uh, Headhunter in his hand. Watch. He's got a sneaky, sneaky up his sleeve. I think this is the final game, and I'm pretty sure this is the game we're gonna see the uh, the rescue radish Molokal strats. Should we protect our face? And this is just a little easier to kill, but... We have plenty of board space. We just used our first Molokale, turning these into 4 drops. Then we're gonna turn into 5. Latnian got Booglu. Boogelu. Raid is Redada, not a Salta. Ariba. <laughs> Imagine betting no against the Pine Claw deck, am I right? Um, do we do the Molecule? Do we do the do 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 It's so sad to play Jumping Bean here, though. Everything's sad. This is a very sad hand. Let's just take our 5 drop. And we'll go with it. Why? That's my Molokale! Oh my gosh, well, we have card advantage now. Just there's that. Wow. The block of one damage. Very blessed. Maybe I'll do this this time. Dude! Oh my god. He's so annoying. It's so annoying to give this back to him, too, man. On the other hand, what choice do I have? We really do try to have to take him off the board, though, right? Alright, we're gonna do it like this. Jumping beaning a, uh, a finisher when we have six health here is not a good idea. La, 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 la. So we have a decent ball kill here. Plus a berry plus. Should be okay. Shroom for two molecule kill berry plus. Looks good to me. Maybe it'll just rain. No! Why? Uh... <laughs> Man, it was too fast for us. Man, it was too fast. Alright, we're playing one more game. We're not ending on that one. Six and two. <laughs> Last game, guys. Good old trickster deck. That's probably like hybrid. Try hard stuff. This is the last game, for real this time. See, this is the teleportation zombie space time matchup. So we gotta keep these. I don't think I'm gonna keep very blessed. Not a whole lot of Pine clones. Way better here. Awesome. Not a lot of, like, toxic waste imps. 
pass. Should be good to go here. Uh oh. <laughs> yo, yo, please don't start. <laughs> we had Mal Kel in hand. Come on, man. Hi, teleportation zombie. Como estas? So I freaking thought. So what I freaking thought. Now don't have an environment that ruins this, please. Pretty place. I should have rescued Ash and Four to play on second trickster, you know? I figured if he had second trickster in hand we lose anyway, but maybe you're right. This is not addiction. This is you gotta leave with the serotonin, guys. That's what you gotta do. Durr. Yeah, I'll just play this next year. It's just gonna be the teleportation zombie again. He thinks this is a good trade. He's just falling way behind in this game. <laughs> this is not a smart play. This costs six to remove a one cost card. Think about it. Or at least four to remove it, and then you have to replay it for two more. Come on, man. That's not how it's done. La 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 la. Is it better to do three damage next turn? Why not? Probably better just to get the face. The face stuff going. This really does represent nine damage, though, man. If we save it. And it probably represents zero here because we block, right? Well, he usually teleports something in. Alright. Because of that. We just gonna take the value this turn instead of worrying about maybe he'll have this doesn't live. Oh. Okay. Well it doesn't live. Maybe he'll have something to Glimshroom next turn, probably not. Uh well it's just four. But it doesn't live. It's okay. That's yeah, decent environment. Uh we'll probably just do you know, blow or gloom. Depends how scary the card he plays in lane 2 this turn. <laughs> Probably just Gloom. Let's just Gloom his face and win. For have you ever been addicted to something in your life? I don't know, like mildly. I haven't been like severely addicted. I'm sure I've been like, you know, if you do something, uh, people really misunderstand addiction. Addiction isn't something you really enjoy and you do a lot. That's just a hobby. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you're like, oh, it plays video games a lot, so let's be addicted. If you're using it to deal with stress, and then you kind of become reliant on it in order to feel good, that's the addiction. So, I'm sure, like, I've had stressful times where I've been, you know, times in my life I've been addicted to video games. Um, that because I was using it in order to cope with something, but, you know, I don't think in general, I'm just usually addicted to stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got this guy. I think the Brainana is gonna push this guy out next turn. This teleportation zombie dies, first of all. So we got three lanes that will have at least four damage in here. Imagine that's just another teleportation zombie. It totally is, by the way. It like hot, I guess. Anyway, Brainana kills him unless there's a Pogo in here. Brainana. -na. It could, really could be a pogo. Let's just go for it. Oh, he has a pogo. Okay. Thanks for the Brainana back, though. It just means he has to do it every turn now. <laughs> it's so great. It's so good. Muy bien! Oh, we got Barry. <laughs> he has to bounce this every turn! <laughs> he has to play Pogo every turn and bounces every turn, or somehow manage to get 16 damage, so... <laughs> Good luck with that, bruv. Oh yeah, we're bouncing this too. You're definitely... <laughs> definitely gone. See you later. Sucker. Now he has to bounce a lot of things. Maybe bounce lane one, try to block, and then, yeah, have no answer to lane five. Nice try. GG, it's guaranteed, even if he California rolls. Kinda hope he California rolls. Alright, guys. We're gonna end on the seven and two. We got the serotonin. Don't we feel better now? Don't you guys feel better? Now that we, that we won? 
Ending off on a win, guys? Come on. I'll, I, I said this before, but I'll say it again, is that people have the tendency, gamers, have a tendency to play. When they win, they want to keep playing, so they keep playing again. And then when they lose, they get frustrated, and you, and you leave the game feeling bad. You leave with that deficit. You gotta fight that. You always have to end on a win. So if you're losing games, you're getting frustrated, just say, I'm gonna win one game, then I'm gonna get off, and I'm gonna feel good. The next thing that you do that day, you're gonna feel awesome. Definitely true about PvZ Heroes, Overwatch, whatever you guys play. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. It's definitely going on YouTube. Really, really fun. Did we end up rescue radishing a molecule? Alright guys, we're going to redo this deck. <laughs> I'm just putting this on YouTube anyway, but if you guys are watching this on YouTube and you want to see me play this deck again, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Maybe we'll add in some more combos. But yeah, we didn't actually rescue radish a molecule today. Did we? <laughs> we almost got it, but that trickster, that damn trickster guy. <laughs> <laughs> the rescue radishes were amazing though. Even just rescue radishing the shroom for twos and stuff, man. It was pretty harsh. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.